Hi everybody. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how to differentiate uh, a fake M&M autograph from a authentic M&M autograph. Uh, I joined a, a group uh, for autograph collectors. I've been on this group for two days and then like that two days I've seen three M&M autographs posted with people asking for opinions. And it, some of the answers are getting uh, at times are ridiculous. Uh, so I wanted to make a video about it uh, to help people out. This will also kind of help you. Um, some of the things I'm going to say uh, in regards to other people's autographs, but in this one, I'm I'm specifically doing uh, about Eminem's autograph. Um, and I'm going to have to edit this, and I'm not at all a professional on that. So um, I apologize if I repeat anything um, and, and for how uh, bad my video skills are here. Okay, so my first point is going to be prices. Uh, price is really fairly meaningless. Um, it all depends on how much a seller has paid for something, how much they want to make, and also the reasons why they're selling. Um, somebody, you know, could be in a in a predicament financially and need to move, you know, some of their collectibles quickly, um, or something could happen and they, you know, you know, it could be like an R. Kelly situation where somebody invested in that and you know you, that uh, it's becoming worthless, so you want to get rid of it. Um, this here, this is the original post from Eminem when he put this lithograph for sale on his website for $100. So again, something like this, yeah, resellers bought them all up, but I mean, somebody might have sold one for 150 bucks. Somebody might have sold one for $500. Just depends how fast they want to move it and how, how much they want to make. Um, keep keep this image in mind this we know is a real one because he has posted it himself this is the size of it this is how it kind of looks and where it is uh let's go through and i will also point out here this is his website you could buy one right now for 15 dollars unsigned off his website so just because somebody has one of these keep in mind you can you can get these unsigned and anybody could just throw a signature on uh going through ebay let's look at some some items so here's one uh the signature uh it's a lot larger it's in a different spot um i would say this is not legit um the s is pretty sloppy Uh, this is for $279. Uh, this one here uh, looks looks better. Uh, the signature is in a in a better spot down there. Um, hard to say on that one. Uh, this one here, yeah, I would like I would. Let's definitely say no on this one. Let's go look at some other stuff. Uh, so they've had it framed. Uh, yeah, so here this seller is showing their, uh, they're selling it for $400. And they're selling it, showing that they purchased one. All right, it keeps closing on me. This is hard to read. Oh my God. I should edit this. Anyways, um, yeah, this, this is not proof of anything. They could have bought one of these and then went back and bought uh, unsigned ones later. Uh, this one here, $274. Uh, and that's where the signature is. It's not letting me zoom on it. Um, but the signature is in a better spot. We're closer to where Eminem showed it actually was. Um, again, I can't zoom, but I can I can see enough that I can see the shape of that S is is better. Um, again, I'll jump back to that one. Oh, hopefully this guy. 
I'm actually almost concerned that uh, they might have just stole that photo. That looks really, really close. Um, I mean, I'm saying it's pretty simple though, so they could be quite the same. This one here, um, obviously a fake. Like you can tell right away. Like why the hell? I mean, especially when you have that much room. Why would you put the rest of your your signature up on the line of the S? Um, they're trying to get three hundred fifty dollars, but you know, you look and you think, oh, this is a top rated seller, and they got hundred percent positive feedback, and yeah, it's a pretty good amount of feedback, but um. Oh, and here they're, they're even showing here, like, oh, yeah, you can see where the ink goes through. Um, still doesn't mean nothing. That's that's totally fake. So, yeah, as you can see there, um, the price has varied quite a bit. Uh, Two to four hundred dollars for an M&M autograph is is about what you should be looking to pay for one. Uh, if uh, an autograph <clears throat> has a certificate of authenticity from JSA or PSA. People are going to be trying to sell that for a hell of a lot more. Like they could be up around a thousand dollars, which you should never pay. You should just find one that's that's authentic. And if for some reason you want that extra authentication, uh, pay the twenty bucks or whatever it'll be to send it off yourself and get it authenticated. Don't don't give somebody like hundreds and hundreds of more dollars for for no reason at all ebay requirements are that a seller is supposed to have a certificate of authenticity showing with their their listing it does not have to be psa or jsa like a lot of the people you'll see on you know that get autographs at airports they're they're not they're just issuing their own and that's fine uh so cert certificates are going to vary a lot uh, based on where they're coming from. So again, they're they're completely meaningless. So how they appear to you doesn't matter if you think it, it looks cheap or if you don't like that, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't have a date on it or it doesn't say when or where it was signed or, or that uh, whoever issued it didn't hand sign it or didn't sign it at all. Um, if there's not hologram stickers attached to the item or the certificate or only one or the other, Every, everywhere is going to be different and that's fine it, it really doesn't matter so yeah just don't don't base your purchase on a piece of paper base it on the signature okay so this is uh one of the m m autographs that somebody asked about that made me realize i needed i needed to film something about this uh it's my second time filming this part though because i i screwed up uh something uh pretty important actually um so in regards to his signature as just shady um this is how it's gonna be laid out these three here are real ones uh the s it you know it starts you know closer in then it goes out here uh the end is is pointy uh it comes back and it doesn't go all the way back it's longer than it is tall the H is usually pretty long, lowercase a, uh, they slant in this direction. Uh, it's uh, pretty, yeah, pretty pretty obvious it should be anyways, that this one isn't. Um, even just looking at it, the, the lines look slow. And when you write slow, like, you're, you know, you're, your pen will shake just a little bit like these are crisp lines and you can tell somebody went slow they get to the end and and they they stopped like if you were going you would just went off the edge you wouldn't be like oh oh oh, i better go down and then come back over uh the a is a capital you can you can clearly see that the rest like this one here comes up but it's just that he's going h a and coming back up there's no separate line um you know it's not the worst one i've i've seen but it's you know it, you can tell it's not that the letters are also wider like his his lettering is usually pretty squished together pretty narrow um he, he did sign some uh like d12 and put years on them but um no and this should not be in this area though that should be 
down there. Uh, if at times there are some autographs where he signs it slim shady, and in that case, then this at all those times does seem to be up in this spot. But when it's slim shady, when it's just shady, it's over here. Um, if you look back at early career autographs, uh, he mostly signed Slim Shady at the time. And that uh, Y actually came back over. He didn't just go straight down. He came back over with it. So everything else is pretty, pretty similar, though. Uh, and, of course, circumstances are a big thing uh, to look for if, you know, it's perfect circumstances or, you know, somebody might have been standing trying to just hold a piece of paper. Um, but this is still still too off for, there's too many things for that to, to be a possibility on this one. Uh, if you're going to search um, for comparisons on, on anyone, um, look for ones that are personalized to someone because usually if somebody's going to fake something. They're not going to sign it to someone, but there is a really badly faked Eminem one that somebody has signed to somebody. Um, but it's still, a, you know, pretty good. Um, usually a pretty good thing to go by. Okay, so this one here is a, a lithograph that I saw posted for sale this weekend on a Facebook group. Uh, price two twenty five plus shipping, so not a horrible price, but look at look at the signature that is obviously not um here's here's uh a cut out of the one I mean I'm posted on his Instagram even looking at how much bigger this this cutout is look at the size difference just overall like this is the s is easily twice the size and then the rest of it is is way smaller um no it doesn't doesn't make sense at all um, and these, these were the comments on it. And a lot of people were saying like, it didn't seem quite right. Uh, but then like you got these people here, <laughs> like, I don't know if they're, they're friends with the guy or what, but all of a sudden they were all defending him. Uh, I didn't sense the names of anybody defending this because they don't deserve to have their identities hidden. Um, if anyone wants to go through and read every single, uh, comment here. Um, I'm not going to read them all out, but you can pause it and, and read them for yourself. So obviously be careful who you ask for advice when you are buying an autograph if you're not sure from your own research. Um, I always tell people if you are not sure, don't buy it because you will never get rid of that doubt in the back of your mind. Uh, and you might wonder why people on groups like this would give bad advice. Well, for one, you have the trolls who want you to waste your money so so they can go home and, and giggle all day knowing that they they had somebody waste three hundred bucks of their of their hard earned money. And other people are resellers who want you to think it's not real so they can they can get it. They they want it for themselves. Um yeah, work, care, care about yourself. Don't don't think anybody else is going to take care of you. Uh, I hope this has been informative and and helpful to some of you. Uh, if it was, um, you know, give it give a thumbs up or or let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're interested in videos like this, I I, I plan on on posting more of them. Uh, so if you want to subscribe, um, if not, and you watch to the end, thank you for your time. Good night.